Popping out the regal with the ego Hoodie hood, big headed like an ego Look up in the sky, fly, tripping like a seagull Nigga in the glove, ain't no love for an amigo And even he know, uh, way too much Nigga say I did drug, way too much What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end. And today, we're gonna get right into it. You already see the title. This has been circulating for a while, but it's 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 kind of created more uh traction over the past week or two or whatever, because Bosco had words with whack, and you know, you got people who believe everything that come out of whack's mouth is just golden. Um, so is Bosco 100 a snitch? Now, before we get started, I don't know Bosco. I'm not accusing Bosco of anything. All right. I'm not, I'm not trying to slander his name. I'm not trying to throw smut on him. Nothing like that. My question, never mind how I feel about it, whether I believe he is or he isn't. That's not what we're here for. I want to know how y'all feel about it based on everything that we know and we really don't know anything about his situation okay uh allegedly when he was 12 well not allegedly when he was 12 years old um i guess his neighbor got killed and uh and, and if y'all don't believe me y'all can go back and look on street tv several years ago maybe 2016 16 17 something like that um he was on street tv with his mom and his mom had brought this up out of nowhere and was saying that when he was 12 he witnessed the neighbor get killed and he had to testify he had to go to court and be a witness that's what that was her words um now one bosco was a 12 year old kid wasn't a gang member didn't live in Inglewood, didn't live in Queen Street, had no affiliation with these dudes. He just, imagine you being a 12 year old kid, you don't gang bang, and it's just you and your mom. It's not like he had an older sibling or, or, or a dad or an uncle or a cousin or somebody to tell him anything about this street stuff. This is just, he was just a square kid living with his mama. Somebody get killed. His mom asked him what happened, he tell her, she made him cooperate. Like I said, he wasn't a gang member. If you was 12 and you was a gang member, then you know that you're not supposed to do that. But if you're 12 and you're a square, and your mom is telling you to tell the police what happened, you're going to listen to your mom, right? I mean, that's just... If you get on here and tell me you'll tell your mom you got me fucked up at 12 years old, and you're not a gang member. I'm not talking to niggas that was banging at 12. You just a regular 12 year old You telling me That you gonna be like Fuck what my mama talking about Nigga I'ma keep it street But you know nothing about the streets Because that's not how you was raised You know what I'm saying I don't know Some people are saying he is Some people are saying he isn't Uh, It's crazy because the guy Like I said Whack 100 Who's accusing him of this Bro you deal with a whole rat I don't care what the reason was because you taking care of your family, uh, Pyru ain't gonna take care of your family, that's cool. This is why I say you can't straddle the fence. You can't say that you follow all the rules and you don't break the rules and you live by the code. And then all of a sudden when some money is on the table for you to do some stuff that goes against everything, now all of a sudden Pyru don't dictate what you do. Pyru don't dictate your business or whatever the case. Anyways, um, he deal with 6ix9ine, man. 6ix9ine was 19, 20, 21 at the time and knew better. And he still keeps saying he was a civilian, but a 12-year-old Bosco wasn't a civilian. I understand why the Dom moves and a lot of niggas in general don't like this nigga out there. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I don't want to make this about him, but I was just saying, how can you point the finger at Bosco for being 12 and he wasn't in the streets, therefore knows nothing about the street code, but 6 9 was a grown ass man and knew what he was doing and he still did it and he then got out and glorified being a rat, but you'll do business with him. Um, another thing, whack is Mr. Paperwork this, Mr. Paperwork that. 
Bosco told him, nigga, ain't no paperwork. Go get the paperwork. You always told my people paperwork. Go get the paperwork then where it say I snitched. Crickets. Whack, whack. He should have been producing type of paperwork on this nigga. He calling you all kind of bitches. Uh, calling your son derogatory names. Saying he's a part of that alphabet community. And I know that got to hit home for you. Especially if it's true. You know, the truth hurts. Even though he always likes to say the truth can never be considered disrespect. Bullshit, the truth hurts. And he know that. So you would think he would dig deeper and really try to expose Bosco if this was the case. Now, yes, his mom said he had went to court and he had to testify. But we haven't seen anything that will say that Bosco cooperated. We don't know what Bosco did. We don't know if Bosco went to court and said, hey, uh, I just came outside and seen my neighbor dead. Uh, I didn't see the shooter. I don't know what the shooter looked like. We don't know what he said on that stand. We don't know if he said he forgot. Uh, he, he was traumatized. He blacked out, passed out, didn't see. We don't know what he said, if he said anything. So when people hear, oh, Bosco testified in a murder when he was 12, but we ain't seen nothing to just automatically call the man a rat. That's the crazy part. And like I said, y'all listening to a nigga who does business with rats. He just had the other nigga. All right, the Takashi shit. All right, you did that. You just had the Snow Billy dude on there from Nine Trey. And everybody and their mama saying he a rat. He didn't admit it and all this stuff on Clubhouse. That's your first interview you do on the 100 podcast is with Snow Billy. And then the other interview was on academics podcast with, um, ac uh, well, obviously with 6ix9ine and academics. So it's like, bro, how do you keep pressing all this paperwork stuff about everybody? And he's a snitch. He's a snitch. But you're doing business with snitches. I don't even know if the Snow Billy thing was a business thing or if, if it was just all pleasure. Like, I don't, I mean knowing whack though it probably was a power play for something else but still you keep calling everybody out for being a rat but you keep associating with rats and you're not gonna do nothing to these dudes it's paperwork on him it's paperwork on him you're gonna see these dudes and do nothing so why do you keep on pointing out who's a snitch you know why because that's that's how niggas discredit you that's how niggas silence you when you pushing something that goes against what they pushing they got to take your voice away. The only way they can take your voice away is by shitting on your credibility and your reputation. And ain't nothing faster than calling somebody a rat or calling someone a homosexual. Them is the two things that can snatch any type of gangster or credibility from you off top. So the man know what he doing. But like I said, what do y'all think? This ain't about what I think. What do y'all think? Knowing that we ain't seen nothing. Yes, we know he saw uh, uh, his neighbor get killed. And then on top of that, where's the guy at who got all this time? Why he ain't come out? Unless he passed away or something. Why he ain't come out and be like, yeah, I'm the dude in this case that everybody keep talking about. Just like how people accused Mob James of snitching for years. Finally, FG came out the cut. Even if the dude is still incarcerated, everybody got access to hollering so you know we, we we don't need to go into depth on that we know what that means everybody has access to reach out to the free world unless this dude crazy and then lost all his marbles i don't know but if it's paperwork it should it should be out there you can't just be calling a man a rat just based on something his mom said he had to go to court but what did he say at court i don't know y'all let me know what y'all think man is Bosco 100 a snitch? Is he not? Do you care? What do you consider telling? I'm out. Hoodie from the hood. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Hopping out the regal with the ego. Hoodie hood, big headed like an ego. Look up in the sky, fly, tripping like a seagull. Nigga in the glove, ain't no love for in the Migo. And even he know. Uh, way too much. Nigga said I did drugs. Way too much.